tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. This channel of mine is filled with creativity and empowerment and it documents my journey as a crochet designer making moments and memories. Okay. I just, I'm just, look. If you are a returning viewer, hi, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. This little place of mine is so, so happy for you to be here. Now, I just need to jump straight in. Look at what I'm wearing. I did it. This is my jumper. I've called it Pinnacle and it's using the yarn from Rito Yarn. Um, I finished it last weekend and I've worn it already. I've also taken the photographs to show you. Um, oh, where to start? So Rito Yarn um, provided the yarn support for me for this, for this design. I contacted them and said that I had a design in mind and they kindly sent me the yarn last year um, I think it's September or October and I had a design in mind and I started on it um, Christmas came and went and then I had a different um, idea in mind and I frogged what I'd done I started the different design and it just wasn't right and I came back to this and I've seen it through and it looks amazing um, the yarn is the Big Easy by Mayflower it's Easy Care and it's their iron weight, though I would say it's more true to a double knit weight that I'm used to. Um, it's in there, it's called olive, and the reason being is this is the colour of their olive oil before it's set. That's what I've been told anyway by another viewer. Um, I was given 600 grams of this yarn to make this design. Working with the yarn, I used a 3.5 mil hook um, because I wanted the tighter looking material. I didn't want it to be too loose. Um, I, as I said, it is Aram, but I would say it's more a double weight, a double knit yarn weight. Um, it it worked up really 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 nicely it's got a really good st stitch definition um, and it was it flowed easily on the hook to use it did split quite a bit um, because of the way it's twisted but then also on the plus side because of the way it is it's really held the stitch definition so um, it was a little bit frustrating because it would split and I'd have to take back a few stitches but I wanted it to look perfect and it really really does. I um, completely self designed this um, pattern. I knew that I wanted it to have the build sleeves. Um, I'm really into more of the statement sleeves at the moment. I knew that I wanted it to be a cropped jumper. I love 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 the cropped jumper. Um, you could easily make this longer if you wanted to and have it much much longer. I was toying with the idea that this could be made into sort of a three quarter length tunic as more of like a dress um, and then I would I would make the sleeves slightly longer and maybe a bit wider just to um, really enhance them. Um, so I've made this, it's got the dropped sleeve, the dropped shoulder sleeves, dropped shoulder seam rather um, I made the front panel, the back panel, I did the shoulder seams together, I then um, crocheted the sleeves in which again are just rectangles made out of the um, yarn to make a fabric, um, I, I crocheted them in, seamed them, then I seamed down here, I've put on a contrasting trim and it's done. It's so so simple to make and um, as I said, I frogged it a few times because I was it was me making it for the first time. If I was to repeat this, it would not take me long at all. It was quite simple to make. The stitch pattern is, um, I've done it in rows going this way, in um, width ways rather than length ways. 
um, yeah, vertical rather than horizontal. So it's vertical rows of treble stitch, my favourite stitch. Um, and then I did the same for the sleeves. Um, I knew that the stitch would be going in the different direction for the sleeves but I wanted that because I wanted it to accentuate the um, bell shapes that I've got going on so I was happy to do that that was done on purpose I just wanted to really accentuate that shape that we've got um, so they were made going I stitched them going horizontally rather than widthwise didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Just double checking with myself. Um, I'm going to release this pattern tribe. So I've noted everything down for my size. I have used, I had 600 grams of this yarn. I've used no more than about 50 grams less than that, probably 20 to 30 grams of just um, a black DK that I had in my stash. You could definitely get some more of the Mayflower um, in a different colour to do the contrast. I just used what I had um, just to simply finish it off. You, do, you wouldn't actually have to put this in. You could just um, finish this off in the same colour and then just leave it as it is. The sleeves didn't really need it but I just decided to go with the trim. Um, and I'm just completely and madly in love with it, I really am. Um, I would say that this is for a beginner, easily a beginner pattern, um, but even if you're more advanced, it's just something nice to and quick to make up. You can um, change the length. So if I just stand up quickly, I've got high-waisted jeans on, so my waist is here, and this sits just below my bottom band, which is where I like my jumpers to sit because of my body shape and the clothes that I like to wear but you could easily make this much much longer um, and you could add length to the sleeves I purposely chose for mine to be more three quartered and they stop above my wrist um, but again you could make this much much longer I am quite tempted to make one that is longer as I said as more of a tunic um, because I just think it would be something nice to wear in the winter and I would quite basically put a belt around it and cinch it in around my waist and then just have the length with some, I would go with some chunky tights, um, some like chunky knit effect tights, shop bought or you could make your own like the Stephen West ones um, with Doc Martens and a nice chunky scarf and underneath, of course, you'd have like a thermal layer, a vest or whatnot. I just think that would be a really, really nice winter outfit. This, I have worn it with these high-waisted jeans and heels um, for church, but you could quite easily wear that and go into a bar or just day-to-day. -day, you could wear this with some simple jeans and some simple Converse, maybe, some plain Converse, black to go with the trim or just a random colour whatever goes well for you. Um, I also wore it with a clutch bag but I made one little faux pas in that it had a chain and there was a link that caught and pulled, pulled a stitch on my jumper and there was swear words but you can't really tell so I would, I carried that bag as a clutch rather than using the chain strap after that. Um, I'm going to go over the chain and just make sure that they're all closed and there's no rough edges. It was shop bra anyway, but I'm just going to make sure so I can wear it again and not destroy my clothing. Um, I really, really like this detailing down here of where I've stitched it together. So I purposely made this wider than my body because although it's cropped, I wanted it to be kind of a loose fit. Um, I think I could make the size bigger so this is the small I'm a UK size 6 to 8 I could make the size bigger so a 10 to 12 maybe in the UK and um, add the length on and, sh and cinch it in at my waist this uses 600 grams of Aran 
So to make a jumper dress, I'm going to guesstimate that I'd need at least 1,200, if not more, 1,600, maybe. Let's say 1,400 grams of yarn. Um, and then I could have a jumper dress. And actually, now I've said that to you, I'm really, really quite tempted to do that. Um, it would feel a little bit more laborious with the length because I do do the, the vertical rows, but then that has a really nice um, slimming, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Flattering fit because they're going that way. It elongates you that way rather than this way. And I know some people prefer that. That is something that was spoken to, that was raised when I was making one of my previous patterns. Um, so yeah, what do you think, tribe? Um, I'm just, I'm loving it. I will stand up in a minute and move the table so you can see the full length. I've also taken a lot of pictures for the pattern release, so I'll be putting those in there. Just one point on the sleeves. I actually added them in with a slight pleat. So, can you see here? The sleeves are quite wide. And I did that on purpose because I wanted them to have the um, the pleated join. And so when I joined them in, I pleated the fabric in four places. You can see one there and one there. And there's one here and there's one round here. I just wanted that runch, to fr the runch, is that the right word? You know, I'm doing this motion. I wanted that so that this would look even wider than it was here so that it cinched it in here and I've done that on both sides and I pleated them in the exact same places um, but I'm really pleased with the drop hem on the shoulder I think that looks really nice um, I had when I swapped the other pattern I was trying to do a raglan but I just think it looks so much simpler with the drop hem and the sleeves so let me move the table out of the way so I can give you a few close-ups and I'll give you some more details. Now, let's move the hair out of the way. Can you see the back? It's just very simple. I've added in my tag because it's a finished design. As always, I got those from Lasercraft on Etsy. Um, and it sits quite high up on me. As I said, I've got high-waisted jeans. My hips are here. My belly button's right there. And this sits. There's my belly button a couple inches below. Um, it does bell out, which I really like. And it is quite flattering because it isn't close-fitting. I've had a few people say, oh no, I've got too much of a belly. But you, it doesn't touch my belly. It doesn't touch me at all. So you wouldn't... I wouldn't worry about that and same at the back it's quite loose fitting you can always make it a size even bigger if you really wanted to um, have a real loose fit and then the sleeves are three quarter length um, to my wrist it doesn't come normally I wear my sleeves like to the mid of my back of my hand um, but I just think that looks really really nice and I used up every scrap of the yarn that I have which is why I don't have any here to show you. If I come up close I can show you the, the yarn definition. The yarn was really really beautiful to work with and I would definitely work with it again. Um, it holds the stitch definition so so well and I just um, think that this very simple pattern looks really really beautiful with it but you could also do something quite textured. You could do um, some bubbles or whatever texture stitch knit and crochet and it would show up really really well you just have to be mindful that it will split so you've got to make sure that you go through it nicely and um, that you catch it all but that just meant that I really took my time on this um, project and that I was just checking each row as I went along um, and it was just quite nice to slow down and just enjoy the process rather than speeding through um, and again I just really love seam detailing that is where I've joined it but it's just created a really nice effect um, it just looks really pretty so yes 
I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm now out of shot because, <laughs> there we go. I'm really, really pleased with it. I just want to say a big, big thank you to Rito for the yarn support. Um, I'm hoping that I can work with them again because I've got um, some granny square tops in mind but in cotton yarn for the summer. Um, but thank you so, so much for providing this yarn and the support um, and the time scale to get this project done. In terms of the pattern, I am working on putting it together. I've taken the photos, I've got everything for the small size. I'm just working on grading it up. Um, I think this will be available in three sizes or possibly four. Um, but I was thinking small, medium and large. If anybody wants a different size, let me know in the comments below and I can work on it. Um, and I will also include in the pattern um, instructions as to how you can modify it for yourself. So if you wanted it wider or if you um, wanted anything longer, I will let you know how many stitches per inch you'd need to add on. The easy, the easy part about it is it, it's not difficult because if you wanted it longer, because this is worked in vertical lines, you just need to add in however many stitches to add the desired length for you. Um, so it is ideal for a beginner that's new to making um, crochet knitwear, crochet knitwear, crochet garments, or as I was gonna say, or if you usually make your own knitwear and you want to try hand at crochet, this is just one simple stitch for the entire body. Um, and then it is um, crocheted together using a, I've got to check the seam now, single crochet, it is single crochet. Um, and then this is a single crochet, so you need two stitches for the entire design. It is so simple that you can watch TV um, and you can take this as a travel project wherever you go. It's just the one colour. You could make it multiple colours, and I'm sure some of you will. You, you could very easily do the body in whatever colour, black, and then the sleeves in a white, so have a block, um, a block design going on. That would look amazing. Um, so you could definitely add your own flair to that. You could use a um, variegated yarn. You could do an ombre effect. You could do so, so much with this. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend that you get some of the Mayflower yarn yourself or if that's not possible because of where you live um, or you need to stash bust then I would use double knit yarn um, to get the same gauge as this but that will all be in the pattern. Um, if you were to use Aran yarn, this is Aran yarn but as I've said for me this is more double knit and I did the trim in double knit to get the same um, size and consistency because I did get an Aran rate, Aran rate, Aran weight yarn and it was too chunky, it was noticeably bigger. Um, if you were to use an Aran yarn you could go always go for the size smaller um, and see how that comes up. I would just do a gauge swatch and try and work it out as to how big you think it will be but generally as a rule of thumb if I'm going to swap out a yarn for a different weight size I'll drop down a size so say you normally wear the medium I'd go for the small in Aran and quite usually it will fit you but you do need to just double check before you do the entire thing but as I said you can add in or take out stitches so you could make this shorter if you wanted to so it could be up here if you really wanted or longer so it's down here somewhere um, and same with the sleeves, they're, they're worked lengthways, so you could add on, they could be big bell sleeves, sort of like the jeans that you used to get in the 70s, where they were big bell sleeves, you could, um, bell flares, you could do that for your sleeves. Um, I am very much liking the idea of this as a tunic, and then it would come down to here, and here I'd cinch it in with a belt, and then it would just flow out. I like that idea. Um, I could possibly make one of those. <laughs> I'm just looking at my yarn stash thinking what would I want to use? I've got a grey 
but I was thinking of making a cardigan out of that. Or I've got a burgundy, but there might not be enough for a generous sized jumper dress. Hmm. Well, leave that with me and I'll see what I can come up with. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting this pattern out there. Um, I'm going to do a test, a call for testers. Um, I just need one for each size. Then I'm going to make this pattern available for my Patreons and they will have um, discount codes and every other tribe member will be able to get it, I think. I think I'm going to go with Ravelry um, and release on there and my Etsy shop. So keep an eye out. Um, keep an eye out on my Patreon if you are signed up on there. If you are, thank you so much. If not, go ahead and take a look. Um, you can keep an eye out on my Instagram because I drop updates on there. Of course, make sure you subscribe on here on YouTube because you'll get updates through here. And I've started a Facebook group and there will be updates on there. So go ahead and join the Facebook Facebook? Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and join the Facebook group um, so that I can um, see what you've all been working on. There are going to be posts in there so that you can show your latest whips. And I also want to do crochet alongs for my designs. So all the links are below. Um, make sure you find me on all the social media. And I will get this pattern ready to be released and shared with you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below what you think on the design and its name, Pinnacle. I haven't even told you about the name. Let me get my chair and tell you. I've named this design Pinnacle. Pinnacle, for me, means, and you know that I always name my designs after, a word that encapsulates what I'm thinking or feeling or the inspiration behind the design. And for me, Pinnacle means the most successful point to reach an achievement, um, reaching a point. And for me, this just encapsulates me um, becoming a designer and reaching that point in my life where I'm releasing designs and that um, it's supporting me and what I want with HGDC. So it's got quite a deep meaning behind it that you won't expect anything different from me. And also I thought it was quite um, fitting that pinnacle in structural terms means an upright structure and because I've done the rows going up and down I thought that, that just really fitted. So I've named this pinnacle um, after my dreams and aspirations of reaching a high point in my career as a crochet designer. So I really really hope that you enjoy making it um, and that for you it gives you some sort of boost in in whatever way I can give you um, whether that's wearing it and feeling mighty fine or helping you um, with your skills learning as a crochet artist I just absolutely adore it absolutely love it and I'm so so grateful I've had this opportunity to work on it and make it and I can't stop admiring that drop seam <laughs> and the pleats, pleats on point. So that's everything from me tribe, thank you so so much for watching and um, please comment below what you think to the design and whether you want to make it. Um, I'm just really really excited to get this released to you all now. The photos are ready as I said um, the small size is ready, I'm working on the grading, so subscribe to all the social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, and I'll have the updates out and ready for you as soon as I can. And just one more final big shout out, thank you Rito for providing the yarn support, it's been great working with you, um, and the yarn is absolutely luxurious, so thank you for spoiling me. Okay, tribe, take care and I'll see you again soon.